if we're going to have any discussion on the Yowie, we have to go back to his origins. And his origins lie right back in the Pleistocene period, or Ice Age, which in Australia dates back at least two million years ago to the end of the Pliocene period. Now here on the Blue Mountains we have ample evidence of this. And uh, in recent times there have been a number of new uh, skull discoveries which have greatly added to my, uh, my fossil record of uh, Homo erectus in Australia. Homo erectus uh, or Java man as he was originally known uh, spread it was thought out of Southeast Asia into mainland Asia and then across into Northern Europe at a later date after the retreat of the Ice Age uh, snow drifts and uh, it, in fact turned south into Africa. <laughs>as you know I'm Rex the Yowie man, Rex Gilroy the man who started all the work on the Yowie going back just a little under 50 years ago now and uh, I've come a long way but in recent years for example I've discovered that tracks of this size uh, and a bit larger belong to a separate species of the so-called Yowie and I've called him the Rex Beast and uh, Rex Beast grew in the over three to four metres tall, uh, up to four metres at the most, uh, from fossil footprints, uh, and these compare with modern day ones, so we still have a larger creature, somewhere between uh, three and four metres, I'd say probably about 3.5 metres in height, uh, or 3.66 metres, at least 12 foot in height, and uh, footprints of this type are being found around the country now alongside the smaller Yowie. Now, here's a good example of what we're talking about. These are a left and right track, one of about, uh, well, there's eight others that were in leaf mould in a, in a forest in New Zealand, and uh, they're not so good, but these were the two better ones. I've, I've put uh, some black outline there, texture, to uh, show the contours best that we can see given distortion in, in forest mud and the like, but there's the real size of, of yeah, the average yeah. modern human size, and he leaves uh, modern human-like footprints. Now, what is the Yowie then? We uh, have more than two types. Here's another Yowie cast, well it's a copy, and um, this is the one that we copied off for that um, exhibition at the National Museum in Canberra which has just closed. It's There's the cast they used. <laughs> so it, uh, it shows, in fact, uh, as uh, a copy was shown to an American anthropologist a while back, my friend of mine over in Oklahoma, the, uh, the the contours, he said, are in keeping with um, Bigfoot-type creatures. That's all I think about over there, of course. But he said that it's uh, very similar to Bigfoot. We have, of course, evidence of giant tool makers. This is a rather small <laughs> uh, five or six pound uh, chopping tool, or hand axe. That was found back in uh, December, 24th of December, 1969. At, at a creek in South Bathurst. You can see it's been flaked on both sides. A definite style because I have more than one of this type of chopper. And this was found by a friend, Scott Broom, who uh, was digging in his garden and found that. We went up into Nundle recently on a field trip and found an identical specimen. So once again, these people were no mere primitive, hairy, well, ha uh, hairy, clothed uh, or skin garmented cave men of the old school that uh, uh, like the old image of the brutish Neanderthal man which is comic strip stuff. They were very intelligent people who made skin clothing with buttons and uh, these fellows were no different. They made fire and they 
liked a particular style of tool that much, they sort of mass produced the same sort of club or hand axe or chopper. Some of these styles could last for centuries, even thousands of years. In Africa, one style of axe was used for about a million years until one day they became a bit more intelligent and thought they could improve on it. So there is stylization in implements, like in the Aborigines. Uh, my interest in artifacts lies in the styles and the, the different tool cultures. I've actually worked out three basic mega tool stone cultures and you can see that even this is one of the smaller clubs but it's a giant hominid one or mega tool. There were giants on the earth in those days as the Bible and just about every other ancient book on mythology and legends worldwide talks about giants. We had them here in Australia and uh, I think at least one type in the form of Rex Beast is still with us. We just talked about the Yowie mystery, um, or covered a little bit of it. Uh, of course, the Aborigines talked about two types of Yowie. There was the ordinary Homo erectus one, and then there's the joint Homo erectus type, the Rex Beast. Well, Joint Homo erectus in Java, where he was first identified, is called Meganthropus paleogervanicus, the joint Java man. And in Java, fossil jaws and teeth of a, of a creature at least uh, 3.66 metres tall have been found. This tooth would have fitted one of those jaws. It's a 52 millimetre tall uh, lower back premolar identified by a dentist a while back and this is at least uh, 500,000 years old. Uh, coming soon. <laughs>